hello everyone i hope all of you are doing well so in today's lecture we are gonna do the comprehensive breakdown of one of the endocrine glands that is the hypothalamus so we'll start with the origin of the hypothalamus so the origin means where does the hypothalamus actually develop from the hypothalamus is a small and a vital region which is located at the base of the brain as already shown on the figure in the on the right hand side and it develops from the ecto Derm. So it develops from ectoderm embryonically. All right, so now we'll move to the location. What's the location of the hypothalamus? So the hypothalamus, as already mentioned, is situated below the thalamus and above the pituitary gland. So this makes a kind of crucial link between the nervous system and the endocrine system. So if we write about its uh, location, so the location is below the thalamus but above the pituitary gland okay so <clears throat> as you can see on the right hand side the location of the hypothalamus as shown here in the red color it shows that the pituitary gland is below the a hypothalamus but the thalamus is above the uh, the hypothalamus gland all right so now we're moving to the structure which is very important struc structure of the hypothalamus so the hypothalamus is a very complex structure which is made up of various nuclei or clusters of neurons it's made up of the clusters of neurons all right, so these nuclei or the clusters of the neurons are responsible for different functions, including like regulating the body temperature, hunger, thirst, sleep, and the release of the hormones from the hypothalamus. So it's connected with the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland by an axis, which is called as the hypophysical portal blood vessel. So we'll write it down here, hypophysical portal blood vessel or vessels all right so it, it is important to note at this point that the hypothalamus is also called as the master of master endocrine gland okay so it's also called as the master of master endocrine gland as you can see on the right hand side the structure of the hypothalamus that i have drawn it clearly depicts that the uh, the the um, hypothalamus is connected by a, a hypophysical portal blood vessels which i haven't shown here but i mean obviously if you look at the anatomy of the hypothalamus it's connected by the hypophysical portal blood vessels okay and since it controls the the pituitary gland as well so that's why it's called as the master of master endocrine gland all right, so now one of the important things that we have to look into regarding the hypothalamus is the hormones or the hormones that are secreted by the hypothalamus gland. So the, the hypothalamus produces several important hormones which are often referred to as the hypothalamic releasing hormones or factors. So we call them as the hypothalamus releasing hormones or factors you can call them hormones or you can call them factors more often they are called as the hormones and those hormones they control the release of hormones from the pituitary gland which is located below the the hypothalamus the neurosensory cells of the hypothalamus they they actually secrete various hormones that are carried via a postal circulation to the anterior lobe of the uh, pituitary gland to stimulate the secretion of the hormones from the pituitary gland so actually the hypothalamus controls the pituitary gland so that's why we call it as the master of master endocrine gland also it's important to note in terms of hormones that the hypothalamus not only secretes the releasing hormones but it also secretes some inhibitory factors or hormones so if we represent releasing hormones as rh it also secretes some inhibitory inhibitory hormones or factors 
so we can write them as i h or i f so inhibitory factors or inhibitory hormones so both of these are secreted by the hypothalamus gland now we look at some of the the hormones that are uh, basically secreted and we'll give some examples also in there so first we'll go for the uh, releasing hormones okay so first we're gonna go and look at the releasing hormones the releasing hormones that are secreted from the hypothalamus so in order to remember most of the releasing hormones i will give you a mnemonic and that's you have to remember you have to remember this term hast PRGR. Okay, so it will give you the maximum uh, releasing hormones that are secreted from the hypothalamus. So now we'll go one by one for all of them and see what those are. So first is HAST. All right. So the first is HAST. For HAST, we have to go for H. H means the hypothalamic hormones. The hypothalamic hormones. So the hypothalamic hormones, we'll see which hormones are secreted by the hypothalamic region. We call them, so the first one is the corticotropin releasing hormone. It's called as corticotropin releasing hormone, CRH. And what does it do is that it, can, it regulates the release of ACTH, okay? So it regulates the release of ACTH from pituitary gland, okay? from the pituitary gland and it influences what does it influence it influences the adrenal glands the adrenal glands are influenced by this corticotropic releasing hormone now moving to the second one so the second one in this case is the thyrotropin releasing hormone it's called as a thyrotropin releasing hormone these are all hypothalamic hormones that i'm mentioning here so the thyrotropin releasing hormone it controls the secretion of it controls the secretion of thyroid stimulating hormone all right and obviously it affects the thyroid gland it affects the thyroid gland so i'm mentioning the effector organ where it affects as well as what it is secreting and then in the same category we have got the gonadotropin releasing hormone so the gonadotropin releasing hormone it regulates the release or secretion of release or secretion of the luteinizing hormone and the follicular stimulating hormone that's fsh and as all you know that it affects the gonads Okay, so it's affecting the gonads and the gonads include testes in males and ovaries in females. Alright, so then there's one more in the same category. We have got the GHRH. It's called as the growth hormone releasing hormone. So what does it do is it stimulates the secretion of growth hormone. So it stimulates secretion of growth hormone, which is represented as GH. All right, so we got the first category done. Now we have to go to the second one, which starts with the A. So the second one starts with the A. That's the antidiuretic hormone. So we call it as antidiuretic hormone. And we'll also study oxytocin in this category, okay? Oxytocin as well. So let's see what these uh, hormones do. So, though, though these are not technical, these are not actually the releasing hormones because I have kept them in a separate category. But here, these two hormones, that's the antidiuretic hormone and the oxytocin, so the antidiuretic hormone is represented as ADH, and the oxytocin, so both of these, what they do is they are produced in the hypothalamus first and then they are stored in the posterior pituitary gland okay so let's see what they do so the antidiuretic hormone what it does is it regulates the water balance so the adh it regulates the water balance the h2o balance in a body and while then we have the oxytocin what does it do Oxytocin, it does what it does is it controls the secretion or it controls the secretion of the milk or what we call as the ejection of milk. So it will control the 
ejection of milk while breastfeeding okay while breastfeeding it's going to control the ejection of milk from breast and it's also going to control the uh, uterine contractions during the childbirth so it also controls the uterine contractions during the childbirth all right so in so we're done with the a category and then we have a third one which i mentioned is the st okay so in the third category we're gonna go with st so what does st mean here is the somatostatin somatostatin so what does somatostatin mean is it's, it's a kind of inhibitory hormone uh, that is basically secreted from the hypothalamus and what does it do is let's first call it as the growth hormone inhibitory hormone okay ghih and what does it do is that it regulates the release of growth hormone it regulates the release of uh, growth hormone so somatostatin or ghih what it does is it controls the release of growth hormone and insulin which controls the carbohydrate or sugar metabolism in our body and then we have one more in this category that's pr and gr so first we'll go with the pr pr is prolactin releasing hormone prolactin releasing hormone it's called as prh okay so this prolactin releasing hormone what does it do is that it stimulates the secretion of prolactin so prh stimulates the secretion of prolactin so what's prolactin it's essential in lactation it's while well breastfeeding it's important to have prolactin so that milk gets released or secreted from the breasts all right and then we have one more in this category that's gr so the GR means gonadotropin releasing hormone, okay? So it's gonadotropin releasing hormone. Releasing hormone. So we also call it as GNRH, okay? So gonadotropin releasing hormone. And along with, we have a couple of more hormones. They are like releasing factors for the TSH and ACH. So we call them as releasing factors for TSH and the ACTH the thyroid stimulating hormone and the adrenocorticotropic hormone so I mentioned the gonadotropin releasing hormone before as well uh, but I'm mentioning it here again because of the importance that uh, it has okay so I will will we'll, uh, mention about the, that uh, importance in a couple of minutes so first we'll see what the uh, gonadotropin releasing hormone does is that it it actually regulates the gonadotropins so gonadotropin releasing hormone that's gnrh what it does is it's going to control the or regulate control or regulate gonadotropins gonadotropins so the gonadotropins are the luteinizing hormone and the follicle stimulator hormone or follicular stimulating hormone so additionally the the hypothalamus also releases the factors that i mentioned here that's the uh, thyroid stimulating hormone and the adrenocorticotropic hormone which are also important in our body they control a lot of functions and they affect the kidneys and how we excrete our you know um, bodily fluids and other things and the thyroid stimulating hormone it stimulates the thyroid gland to produce a couple of you know hormones so now let's see uh, a couple of the inhibitory factors that are secreted from the hypothalamus. I already mentioned one that's the uh, growth hormone, inhibiting hormone. But there's one more that's called as the prolactin inhibitory hormone. So if you look at the, uh, the inhibitory hormones or the inhibitory factors, inhibitory factors or inhibitory hormones that are secreted from hypothalamus, so among these there are there are actually two but uh, between the two the one is already you know uh, mentioned in this lecture but i'm gonna have i'm gonna mention both of them again so that it becomes clear here so there are two inhibitory factors or the hormones that are released by hypothalamus so first is the prolactin releasing inhibitory hormone so what it does is uh, it inhibits the secretion of prolactin so it's going to inhibit the secretion of 
prolactin. So it will inhibit the secretion of prolactin uh, from the pituitary gland. And then the second one is the growth hormone inhibitory hormone. So what it does is the growth hormone release inhibitory hormone. It inhibits the secretion of, it's going to inhibit the secretion of go growth hormone from the anterior pituitary because growth hormone is secreted from the anterior pituitary so these are the two important uh, inhibitory hormones that are secreted from hypothalamus now moving to the another part of our lecture now since we have already mentioned all the hormones and the structure and the location and origin of the hypothalamus i want to emphasize a couple of points about the hypothalamus okay so some important points some important points about hypothalamus I hope that you already know all these. So the first point that I'm going to mention here is that hypothalamus is a master regulator. So it's very important to remember that hypothalamus is a master regulator of the endocrine system because it controls the pituitary gland and that pituitary gland in turn regulates many other you know glands and functions of the body. So the second point is it may it plays a very critical role in maintaining the homeostasis homeostasis so the hypothalamus is very important in maintaining the homeostasis the and the homeostasis what it does is it regulates the body temperature all right and it regulates the thirst hunger all right and as well as sleep and other factors in our body and one more important point is that the hypothalamus also regulates the emotions and stress response so we call it as emotions and stress response it's also regulated by the hypothalamus the, the the if if there's a dysfunction of hypothalamus it can lead to various health issues like hormonal imbalances metabolic disorders and some other problems so that's it i think i have covered most of the points in the hypothalamus gland and i hope that this video helps you to grasp the essential concepts that which are uh, actually related to the hypothalamus and as well as its hormones so we'll meet in our next lecture. Till then, please share our content with our friends and do subscribe to keep us motivated for uh, more lectures. Meet you, in our meet you in our next lecture. Till then, have a good one. Take care.